<laughs> you remember that one? Oh, yeah. Cal big truck tires and Rick said, let's roll one of them in that little farmer's market. You know, blow. <laughs> yeah. He said, let's roll one of them down there. Well, we'd get them tires going. Man, they'd jump when they went off that bike. They'd jump high as that building. <laughs> we piled about three of them down there again, the blood dog. About that time, some guy come out. So now you're coming get it. Was, uh, <laughs> do you remember all them off the dam? <laughs> no, I, don't remember, I don't remember some of that crew. We got going out at the dam and getting truck tires and rolling them off the dam and watching them hit that fence. <laughs> tell, tell, tell us about that that uh, time you and Harold shot that flare. <laughs> I, this is a good story here, guys. I don't. I'm. I'm not. You'll have to get Harold. I can't remember the whole deal on the. Thing. It's some kind of army flare. He said a yeah, super high powered did. one, and Where somebody saw Harold? it. Thought it was a meteorite falling. I, I remember something about that. I, I can't remember. And he said the Atlanta details. Journal came up and wrote a story about it. Meteorite hit Shannon County. Right. The <laughs> aliens were landing in Blue Ridge. Something like flare will come up back there. Here come Harold. Come here, Harold. Come here, Harold. He, he was, I think it was his flare. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I remember one time a bunch of us went up to Suches. Harold had a high-powered army rifle and a bunch of shells. We went up there and shot that this Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, 1963. And we, we went up there and shot all his shells and... I only had some hand grenades. I don't know what it was. A bunch of army stuff. What about the flare and when we got the aliens? We got the journal up here. Right about that. I can't I remember the tale. The Tell us a story about that, Harold. Tell us a story. I'm going to get you on tape here. Well, it was, it was a Christmas Eve. I know it was winter months. I can't remember, but it, it was your flare. It, it wasn't Christmas Eve. Wasn't it? Well, my uncle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he, brought, he was the 101st Airborne. There you go. We, he had all kind of ammo. He had flares. He had grenades. He had a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I right. mean, I could have. Nowadays, I've been arrested as a Chain truck. Gang. A yeah. Yeah. Tourist yeah. From what I had tourist. in the truck. Yeah. Went up to Gary's house, good little overlook, long way to the road. Shot that flare, something wrong with one of the fins, and that thing's kind of screwed around. <laughs> Dropped over there to the left of Hope Jones' Hope house. Jones <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't think too much of it. Most of the time, those things go out by the time before they hit the ground. We stand there talking. Most of Before the these cars would come over the hole. Uh, both sides of the road. We said, I what the hell's going on? <laughs> you know, we got to looking and watching. They just kept breaking up traffic and then the cars just barely go by and all like that. And uh, then the fire, that fire truck came in. I think so, yeah. Police cars. Police cars all over the place. So. <laughs> we had one of the times we kind of just eased back in the house. <laughs> <laughs> so when he left us, we kind of, he had a back way out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> that come out on uh, St. Drive, yeah. so we kind of eased the car and just took off. <laughs> Several weeks later, <laughs> the paper had an excerpt from, from the Atlanta Constitution. I remember this uh, more and more as you tell it. <laughs> <laughs> I my bill for. I found Statue of limitations run out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope. Part of Haley's Comet believed to have landed in the, <laughs> <laughs> in the woods on fire. I remember the whole house on old highway. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. It was just about an article, just about like yeah. that. And our paper had picked up the excerpt from uh, an article. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I had just about forgotten the, I, I mean, the details on it, especially. <laughs> what was it? was something about Philip and the watermelons at, there at Reese's. About him going over the fence or something. There was several of them. One time that we, Rink Burner was driving, and was that me and you and Rink Fred? Could have been. <laughs> <Very possible. Well, laughs> we got these watermelons up there on the old Blue Ridge Schoolhouse steps. And, uh, the schoolhouse was burnt. We just get a watermelon from somewhere and go up there in the summertime. We'd sit there and eat it. Well, we got uh, the city council started complaining and having the police go up there and clean up the watermelon. <laughs> so they got to, they, we was up there one night eating the watermelon and they ran us off. So about a week later, we decided we'd get even and we got a watermelon. And that was for you when you was driving your high powered Plymouth. Yeah. yeah. We, he and, drove and us right, right, right through the watermelon. The old city. The old city hall uh, in Blue Ridge, and I think we both, Rink and I both had a watermelon, but I'm not, I, I seem like I remember bowling that thing. <laughs> but anyways, they were sitting in there, the doors was open, it's hot summertime weather, August or something, and anyway, the watermelon went right in amongst them and hit the wall and busted. I don't mean, we was out of town, Freddie was zooming us out of there. I mean, we were out of high school then. Probably. Yeah, we was out of high school. Yeah. You guys, we were hunting one morning, and you know what was happening? He was, it was you and I had Hackney, and it's one other person. It may have been Freddie, I'm not sure. Like four school. 
<laughs> and he wore that old uh, 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 felt hat for a while, you know, a wrap. And uh, so we went hunting and didn't, get, uh, didn't see anything, so we came back to the Jeep. And uh, for some reason or another, he was, uh, he was throwing his head up in there. Gary was shooting it with a pistol. <laughs> so I sat there, and it, it was very regular. He'd catch it, and he'd throw it back up. Bam, bam, bam. You know, letting Gary shoot the holes in his hat. And I said, all right. So I'm sitting over pretty close to the back of the jeep. Where you, when we come back hunting, we just laid our guns up against the thing. Oh, this is coming back to me, too. <laughs> <laughs> so I just kind of eased towards the jeep a little bit more. Like next time old, old, uh, Philip threw his hat up, I reached him out a gun and turned on him like that. It landed between his legs, and I was a little bit slower than the hat. <laughs> so I shot. It's like between me and you. That's about that close. So Hackney was reaching down for a hat, and I shot it out between his legs. <laughs> and I be, had he been just a little bit quicker with that with that hand, or me a little bit slower with that trigger, I'd blown his damn hand off. <laughs> but it took that hat out between his legs. It took the bill off the it hat. A shotgun. Yeah, it was a shotgun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it had you something you could hit the hat with. Yeah. <laughs> it was the heaviest thing I could get. Oh, Fourth of, right. Ju of July one year. Yeah. I had to work that year. I was working at Roy Reese's. Yeah. This is one I can't hear. <laughs> Bye. Bye. No, mm. Take was, care. Man. Thanks for He's telling some bad stories here. Bye, Jay. I must be turning red. <laughs> but, uh, so they had me. Uh, Jack and I was heading out to Florida. <laughs> so right? Daytona Beach. We put the, Daytona Beach. <laughs> Daytona Beach. Yeah. No. So we put the, we tri yeah, put the trip off one day. Who? Uh, Jack and I. Sometime <laughs> after high school, we were going to Daytona. I'd never been to Florida before then. And uh, so they put Man, me we had Man, we had a bunch of copper tone. I'll tell you about the sunburn after this. <laughs> <laughs> well, Roy Reese put me up on the highway in a, a big old uh, uh, converted uh, uh, milk truck. Keep the watermelons cold. So I had to sit, sit up there by myself all day long selling watermelons <laughs> off that truck. So... I had a, had a car come pulling in, and, uh, well, I had a car come by, and there was two good-looking girls in there and two guys. So in a minute, here they come, and they pull in. This girl jumps out. Well, both of them jump out. One was real friendly. And she says, oh, what do they use this building for? And just kind of nudging me toward the building and everything like that. I said, I don't know. I don't own that building and stuff like that. And then... I forget where she took me then. <laughs> she got me away from the watermelons. And I knew what, what the ploy was. I wasn't that stupid. And uh, the other girl joined in. And uh, I don't know if you were down there. There's somebody I else. I came by. And, 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 and Jack, instead of guarding the watermelons, came to see what the heck I was doing. Oh, and this, oh, these, old the girls, got these old girls yeah. kind of scooted me around the corner while they had me around there <laughs> talking. <laughs> That's all we did. Uh, their boyfriends had opened the trunk and filled it full of watermelon. <laughs> well, you know, when they got the signal, they was ready to go. And we'd said, you know, we're going to Florida. And I said, well, we're going to Florida tomorrow. I said, all right. They took those watermelons out to uh, uh, Morgan Point and gave everybody that wanted a watermelon water. Free melon. I don't know how many of these stuff. Jack and I was going to Florida. It was way down the road. And here they come past. No, it was on Coming way back. back. We're supposed to the meet back. them down there, and we here never they did. Come and they us waving at us. <laughs> on the way back home, yeah. <laughs> that, that was a trip. Harold had been going to the lake every all, every chance he had that summer. He had a really great tan. <laughs> oh, so I was pale as a ghost. <laughs> and he said, and we had a convertible, 62 oh, Chevy, had a top down all the time. <laughs> we, You know, we had buried that car every day when the tide came in. Guys have to come out there and help us get it out. But, <laughs> but, but anyway... He says, uh, you don't need none of that copper tan stuff. The best thing in the world for a tan is baby oil. Yeah. So I just yeah. brought, I just put that, and it just like cooked me like, you know, Adolf's meat tenderizer or something. Have you ever seen a man sleep standing up? <laughs> <laughs> Anything that wasn't covered was burned. It was burned. <laughs> hey, Lordy, good times. I'm gonna tell a dirty joke. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, tell it, come on, tell it. I have to wait till you finish. We're finished. That was it.
You gotta click that off. You'll cut it off. I'll cut it. I promise. I'll cut it off right now. <laughs>